I love them. I love them. I love them. I love them. I also need to look at a calendar because I've lost track of what day it is because it's December and nothing ever makes sense in December. I'm just so ready for the new year. I don't know if anyone else feels that way, but. Good morning, it is Boxing Day. So Merry Christmas, I hope you all had a fabulous Christmas. Oh, we're now into the final week of 2023 and quite frankly, I could not be happier that this year is ending. This year hasn't been bad exactly, but I don't like 2023. I'm not exactly sure why I don't like 2023, but I am so happy that we're about to start 2024. I feel like 2024 is just gonna be a good year. And today I'm kind of excited. I'm up. I have honestly for the last few days just kind of made a nest here in my room and I've just been sort of doing nothing actually. I've been playing a lot of Catan. My boyfriend taught me how to play Catan a few weeks ago and now it's all I do. In fact, I think I'm gonna play a quick game now while I drink my coffee. Sometimes we will FaceTime on our phones and then we'll play on our iPads. And like last week we spent like five hours on the phone one night. It was just game after game after game and it was so much fun. So that's kind of been my new thing. And today I felt like getting up because it's kind of sunny out there, kind of not. It's been really rainy the last few days and it just feels like it, I don't know, today just feels like a fresh start kind of day. So I'm up, I got dressed, I put makeup on, I put my little hair bow in my hair and I am going to start thinking about all of the things that I want to do between now and the new year, I just want to wrap up 2023 into a neat little package and get rid of it so I can start 2024 in the best way possible. So I'm going to drink my coffee and play a little bit of Catan. Here's Catan on my iPad. I can't wait to play the actual board game version of it. I've never played the board game version, but I want to. Anyway, I'm going to go into multiplayer and I'm going to do auto match, four people and Harbor Master. It's my favorite one. And I just, I love this game so much. I bought myself a little dragon avatar the other day because it's so cute. It may take a little bit of time. Oh, no, wait, we're handshaking, which means we've got a game coming. Sometimes it can take a little while to find other people to play with and it's been really glitchy lately. Like I couldn't trade with other players a game or two ago because it just wouldn't let me, but I still won. So I'm pretty happy about that. It's just such a fun game. I, I love problem solving games. I love this kind of thing. And I love that my boyfriend and I get to play it together because you know, we're in a long distance relationship. And I think it's kind of important to find projects or activities that you can do together while being in long distance. So I, I love this game. I'm just, I'm obsessed. I don't say that word very often, but I, I actually am obsessed with this game. So I now have to pick a position for my first settlement. And I haven't even looked at the board. What are we doing? I feel like before I get into all the things that I want to do today, I probably should catch you up a little bit because I haven't filmed a lot of videos in December. Um, I was feeling unwell for like a week or so there and then the holidays I guess it's just got, got out of hand got busy for basically the entire year I thought Christmas Day was Tuesday today is Tuesday I thought Christmas Day was Tuesday and it has like thrown me off and I'm just I'm so excited for January I'm just so ready for the new year I don't know if anyone else feels that way but oh I'm so ready anyway what's new so two weeks ago my mom and her partner got a puppy and her name is Maggie and she is absolutely adorable. She's a Border Collie. I don't know if she's a mixed Border Collie, but she is so cute. She has like the bluest eyes, although one is kind of gray and then one is really, really blue. And then she's just like this beautiful beigey, creamy color and she is chaos, but it's been so much fun. The reason that I'm not currently playing right now with my boyfriend, yes, I can build a city. <laughs> I have enough cars to build a city. We're not playing it right now though, because he is in Utah. He's in Utah for the next few days. So he's with his friend and they're going skiing slash snowboarding. I'm so jealous. I wish I could go. Unfortunately, he couldn't come out for Christmas because he didn't have enough time off work and he was going to do it. And I kind of just said, look, it's really not worth it because being where I live in the country, it's even harder to get to from the major cities. And when you're only in Australia for like four days, 
it's not worth it. Like if you have ever traveled from Australia to Europe or Europe to Australia or to like the Americas to Australia, it is so far. It is so unbelievably far and it is just not worth it unless you're going for like two weeks. I mean, people, I'm sure do it for less time for business all the time, but like, it's not worth it. So we just said, don't do it this year, but like, let's work with like the time off and days off and everything and do Christmas next year. And we'll come out for like two, maybe three weeks and do like a really big trip. So like, unfortunate that he's not here because it would have been so nice for that. And I appreciate that like he really wanted to come, but it's just not worth it when you don't have enough time off. So instead for the few days that he does have off, he has gone to Utah with his friend and I'm very jealous, which is one of the things that I do have to do when I go to Melbourne is get my snowboard out of my brother's storage locker so I can pack it with me so that when I go back, I can go to the mountains and things like that. So I'm really excited about that. I came second, I was so close, but the guy who came in third kind of ruined it for me, but it's fine. Anyway, that was enjoyable. It's now raining again. So I guess we're back to the stormy, gloomy weather. It is on off sunny and rainy today. So I figure I might as well just hang my washing inside. It's probably the safe bet rather than me hanging it out and then it starts raining again and it's all wrecked. Like I was just outside for a couple minutes and it was so hot out there and so sunny and now it's cloudy again and there's thunder and it's probably gonna rain again. It's been raining a lot here in Australia, especially on the East Coast. I know it's like flooding in Northern Queensland. I am just getting up today and actually doing some clothes washing. As I said before, I've just sort of done nothing for a number of days. I haven't really done any, you know, life tasks, responsibilities, chores, that kind of thing. And I just need to get up today and do things. I'm out of comfortable gym clothing, which is actually why I'm wearing jeans and like a top, but to be fair, I should be wearing jeans and a top. I want to put more effort into actually getting dressed each day. So I did it out of necessity today because I have no clean, comfortable clothes, which is why I'm washing them and hanging them out right now. I bought a lint roller the other day and I definitely need to use it. There's so much fluff and cat hair and dog hair and just fur. Oh, and I also found some plain little t-shirts. I have a black one and a white one. They were like $5.50 from Big W and they're just exactly what I was looking for. Just plain, simple, tight fitting t-shirt. I love it. I do just need to lint roller everything because it's all so fluffy. I need to do a little bit of cleaning today. Like I have some Christmas wrapping and stuff that needs to be put away and I think I'm gonna do the second load of washing. I think it's probably better I just do it all and get it over and done with in one day. I just have to find the other clothing rack. And I should probably wash my new pajamas. My mom got me some new pajamas for Christmas and I love them. I love them so much. These are the same brand as my floral ones which are in here. They're from Maya and these ones are just white with black piping and I love them. Like they're so perfect. I'm so excited about it. I just have to cut the tag off. Yeah, the brand's called Chloe and Lola. Oh, let's do another load of washing. Second load of washing is on and I have just stopped to make myself some lunch. There's not a lot left in the fridge. You'd think we'd have lots of leftovers, but we kind of ate Christmas lunch dinner on Christmas Eve and now there's Boxing Day most of the food's gone so there's not really a lot left in our fridge we kind of need to do a shop anyway I have two pieces of toast with a little bit of butter some cherry tomatoes little mini Roma tomatoes whatever you want to call them and some feta and I am starving so I'm gonna eat this and then we can get into doing some more productive practical things hi Maggie look at you you are so cute yes oh yes you are so cute you're an absolute menace but you are so cute. Yes, look at those eyes. If I told you it were 8 p.m. right now, I think you'd probably believe me. It is so dark and gloomy. It's the middle of the day and it just got so dark. I had to turn my lamp on. I probably should turn my other lamp on as well, but it just got so dark. It's time to do something that's very, very important. It's my favorite part of the year. And that is the stationary shopping for the new year. And I'm kind of sad about it because here in my home country town, we don't have a lot of stationary options. So I have to do it online, which is not as fun because normally if I'm in Melbourne, I would go to QPK or to Milligram or to the stationary stores that are down there. But here, 
I have to do it online and I have to do it today because I'm running out of time and I will not go a day of the new year without a journal. A journal is at the top of my list. It is the most important part of all stationary items in my opinion because it is this place that is filled with my thoughts and my feelings that I can reference at any time and I love it. I love being able to go through and compare where I was one year to the next and it just, it's a really nice way to reflect and see how far you've come and see the growth. And that's why it's so, so important to me. I got my first journal at the end of 2019. It was September, 2019. So I have one journal that is like the last quarter of 2019. I have 2020 and 2021. And those three journals are in my storage locker in Toronto. And then I have 22 and 23. And I love them. I love them. I love them. I love them. But I'm not going to be able to find the journal that I want because it does not exist. This time next year, I will be sitting here telling you all about how I designed my own planner because I just needed it to meet all of my criteria. And I'm just very particular because it has to not only look a certain way, but it has to feel a certain way. And if I don't get the feel from it, I don't want it. So I like a soft cover like this. I like it when it feels a little more leathery. And I also like it when there is some sort of closure on the front. This one's just like a piece of fabric and a little metal knob thing. And then this one's a press stud. And I like that it has to be white lined pages. I will not do yellow. I hate yellow paper. And it cannot be dots or grids. It has to be lined. And I know that sounds like very simple criteria, but I can't find what I want because then we get into the colors and the patterns and the design and then it gets very, very specific. And I am so desperate. I need to buy it today. I, I need it to be fast shipping. I, I feel like Amazon's probably going to be the best because it's probably going to be the quickest, but it's going to make my selection very, very slim. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to find what I need, but I have to, I have to suck it up, compromise and buy something today because it is just the most important part of my year. And we need to go and hunt for the perfect journal. So that's what I'm doing right now. I found this one on Amazon. It's soft color and it's floral. I would really love something in a floral. And I think the floral is very, very pretty. It's just, it's not A5, it's like B6, no, B5, B5. So it's a bit bigger than what I would like, but it's kind of at the top of the list because it's only like $11. I then found this one. I don't love the pattern as much as I love on the other one. Also that green elastic strap is hideous. I hate the elastic straps. If I do end up getting something that has a strap, I'm cutting it off. And it's also hardcover as well. And I don't want hardcover. I'm gonna ditch this one, it's not worth it. The next best thing I've found is this website called Notely. I think it's an Australian website and they have these really big notebooks, which look really pretty. They're floral, they're white pages, they're lined. It looks really pretty. I quite like the floral design. These ones are $29.95. The only other place I'm possibly thinking is Papier, which is an Australian website as well. I've bought from them once before, lined notebooks but most of them are hard cover. They're not soft cover, but they just have the most beautiful designs. Like look at this pink floral one, you know, that would be really, really beautiful. I think I found exactly what I want. Look at those journals, they're so beautiful. This is an Etsy shop called Lisa May Designs. She's from Brisbane and look at these planners. They are so pretty. Which one do I pick? And there's 25% off as well right now. Hmm, do I, Oh, this one's pretty too. What about this one? This is really beautiful. Let's see what the video looks like. It's like similar. It's definitely much brighter in the video. I'm taking a break from deciding on a planner for a minute because I just, I feel like I've had my head in my computer for too long. And whenever that happens, I, it's not like I get a headache, but I just start to feel almost congested. <laughs> like I feel a little headachey, a little congested, just a little strained maybe right here on the side of my face. And this always happens whenever I spend way too long with my head in my computer or my phone. Like, I don't know if it's the screen and my eyes or what it is, but it does not make me feel good. I'm gonna leave it for a minute, but I think I'm getting closer to making a decision about a planner. I'm gonna hang out this second load of washing and it's not gonna fit on this rack. I have too much. I might have to get some coat hangers out. And then I wanna start thinking about setting myself some goals and things for the new year.
the other day in my broadcast channel on Instagram, I asked for the opinion of many of you about which one of these green coffee presses, French presses, I should get. I saw this one from Maxwell and Williams in Maya, like my first or second day when I was in Melbourne and I fell in love with it. And I've been thinking about it nonstop since and I figure if I've been thinking about something for like a month, it might be an idea to get it. Although the only thing that does upset me is in this lighting, it looks far more turquoise and not as green as what the box makes it look. It's just really pretty. It's just a one cup serving. It was between this and a different brand. They were very, very similar, but I do think the Maxwell Williams is much nicer. I love that it comes with a little scoop. Have not used it yet because I actually don't have any ground coffee, I don't think. Anyway, I thought it was really cute and I just sort of thought it would be a nice little Christmas present to myself. I'm gonna take it with me when I move. And I don't know if I'll always use it because my boyfriend also drinks coffee, which I love that he drinks coffee, but this is a one people thing, not a two people thing. So I'll probably have some sort of machine or something when I move, but this can also become a really cute piece of decor when I'm not using it. So I love it. I love it so much. I'm gonna share with you some really funny advice I got last year from a barista when I was getting coffee one morning. So I was seeing this guy and, oh my God, this was ages, this was ages ago now that I think about it. Anyway, I was seeing this guy and I went to go and get coffee one morning and the barista was like, oh, what are you having for breakfast? And I was like, oh no, I don't need anything. I'm getting breakfast made for me. And the barista goes, what does he want to drink? And I was like, oh, nothing. He doesn't drink coffee. And the barista was like, well, that's a red flag if I've ever seen one. And I take that advice to heart now. I love that my boyfriend likes to drink coffee because drinking coffee is one of my favorite things in the entire world. Like being a morning person and getting up and having morning coffee is like the highlight of my day sometimes. And so to be able to share that with him in the morning is like really, really special. And I love it whenever I'm with him, I get up and he's already made coffee and he starts making breakfast and it's just, it is the best. So I just think that's so funny that last year that this barista was like, oh, that's a red flag if I've ever seen one. And I was like, yeah, well, you know what? I'm not gonna say that I disagree because in hindsight, yeah, it was a red flag and I should have listened to the barista and ended that well before I did. I have more Maggie for you. She's adorable. She's in a fun little mood right now and she's actually a bit muddy. She could do with a bath, couldn't you? You had fun digging in the mud today, didn't you? She's just so adorable. She's so cute. And she's learning so quickly. Like she's a very fast learner. She's still a little bitey. Got to train her out of being so bitey, but we'll get there. So she runs and bites the clothes horse. We got to train you out of being in the bitey mood. I look, I actually don't know much about dogs because I'm not, I'm more of a cat person. I know cats so, so well, dogs not so much. So this is interesting for me, but uh, I've been doing well. I've been training, Maggie, no, no. <laughs> she just pulled my pants off the clothes. No, stop it. You're such a menace. I think she's only like eight weeks old, maybe nine weeks old now. So she's still young, but she's so smart. Like she's um, a border collie. So she's very, very good at learning and she's been so quick with some other things like we've been playing fetch. Stop taking my clothes off the rack. Give me my, excuse me. Give me my underwear back, miss. Oh, you are in a cheeky mood, aren't you? You are in a cheeky mood, Maggie. You are a little troublemaker. I'm gonna train you out of these things. We're gonna train you out of these things. No getting clothes off the clothes rack. Not for Maggie's. Not for Maggie. Come on. You've had it. you've had your time in here creating trouble. We're gonna take you back outside. Come on. Go Maggie! Oh, I gotta hang my clothes back up. And she was pulling them all down. Anyway, she's adorable. She's adorable. Okay, alright. On to the next thing. Okay, it's back to being very, very gloomy in here, which is okay. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of a clean because my room is actually quite clean. I did a really, really big deep clean the other day and it feels really fresh in here, but I do just wanna finish tidying up my desk and putting just a few things away. I want to try to stay on top of keeping everything clean this week. Um, and I need to start working on my vision board. I'm going to make one. I don't know how I'm gonna make it yet. I feel like I'll probably do what I did at the beginning of this year. Speaking of, where is my vision board? It used to 
be folded up in the front of my journal, but it's not anymore. I bet I took it out and I put it into storage in my storage locker because realistically, when I think about that vision board that I made in January last year, I mean this year, I don't really like it, didn't really connect with it. And that's not what I want for this year. I want to make it a board that I really, really, really connect with. I have just been thinking a little bit about vision boards and how to make them actually work and so recently I've seen a lot of people do reels on Instagram where they will show you an image from their vision board and then they will show you the image from their real life and how it all came true and I think that that is really cool and the one thing that I've taken away from that is how specific and how attainable each goal is it's not just wishy-washy like you know oh I want to travel yeah but where like pick a place that you really want to go like be more specific about where you want to travel kind of thing and I've never really done that and I've heard time and time again that that's what you're supposed to do that you're supposed to be extremely specific and I never have been except for one time and that thing happened and it came true and that one time was at the beginning of this year in January not the vision board I made that was real wishy-washy and that's probably why it's in my storage locker because I didn't really care for it what I'm talking about is my cute little pink journal that I uh, was talking about before in the very very beginning of that journal I have a bunch of pages dedicated towards I think it was three areas. It was career, it was like travel, adventure, something like that, and relationship. And I wrote in each section what I wanted from 2023. And funnily enough, in the travel and the career section, it was very vague. I don't even think I got a full page out of each and I don't even really know what happened. Yet, the relationship section, I was so specific. I like went into all these tiny specific details about the person I was looking for, like, you know, where they're from, like, uh, more superficial stuff, like the physical characteristics of how they look, down to the more deeper emotional, like, personality traits. And I was so specific. I think I wrote three pages. And then what happened? A couple months later, I have my person. And that's the one time that I've ever been super specific and then it happened. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the key with manifestation and vision boarding for next year is you have to be super specific. So now I need to think what things do I want to happen in 2024 that I can put on this vision board that I like really, really want. Not just like a, oh, I'm gonna travel. No, it's like what country, what city, what place am I going to? What do I want? And I need to figure that out. Okay, I'm gonna put you over here-ish, I think. And then get you a good view of my desk because I need to clean it. And it's just a few bits and pieces and I have stuff here, just stuff. I have chocolate from my Christmas present. I already ate one bag of 12. I love this time of the year because I swear all I do is just snack some chocolate. I even have a big bag of twisties I almost finished that was part of my present. So I need to just clean this up. It'll make me feel better. And then we're gonna stay on top of a good clean schedule this week. This was a bad idea. I bought this bag of clear hair elastics off Amazon. It came inside this tub, but the elastics came inside this bag inside the tub. And when I've taken them out of the bag, they're not gonna fit in the tub. So we'll do that. And then there's actually, oh my God, there's actually so many. I'm gonna put the rest back in the bag. I think this is gonna last me a lifetime. I did not need this many hair elastics. I feel really silly that I didn't bring my vision board with me. I just checked in the cupboard. I definitely don't have the little pink folder that I had documentation in. I don't know, oh, no. I was just thinking maybe it's in my suitcase, but it can't be because I took my suitcase with me to Melbourne. No, it definitely wasn't in there. So I think I left it in Toronto, which is kind of disappointing because now that I think about it, it would have been really cool to go over that vision board and figure out what I did wrong, like what was not working with it. I vaguely remember it. Oh, actually, you know what else? I have the vision board from the year before as well that I made when I had COVID. That's in my storage locker. That one's actually on a canvas and it was very cool. It was very pretty. I'm very good at making things look pretty, 
and all color coordinated and organized that's like my strong suit but actually making it from a practical point of view not so much we're going to see my nan in the next couple of days and my nan loves magazines she reads like all the woman's day and the woman's weekly the take five that's life all those kind of magazines and she has more than you could even imagine and she's done with them and i didn't take any the other day because i was like you know what we're gonna go back in a couple days and i need a bit of time to think about it. And so now I'm taking that time to think about it. I'm gonna go and get all of her old magazines so that I can cut them up. And I think the best way to do this is going to be on a piece of paper again, so I can fold it up and put it in my journal and then take it with me. So I think I'm gonna do maybe just like a little A4, make it like cute and simple, but something that I could just pull out and reference whenever I want to. So I need to start thinking about what I want to put on it and what's like realistic, you know, and like really get specific. Cause I'm a little, a little lost. Maybe, maybe I could take some notes right now. Let's think about it and take some notes. Which way is up on this notebook? This way. And we will figure it out. I thought I would jump on Pinterest because it is the best place to get inspiration. This is my home feed. So this may be a little bit of an insight into the type of things that I pin because Pinterest's algorithm is very specific. Once you start pinning something, it will suggest nothing but that to you. So this very first image is right up my alley. I love a dark or a black nightstand. I think it's so pretty and I'm going to save this one to my home inspiration because I really think that's the style and the vibe I'm going to go with. I find bedrooms very, very hard to decorate. I gave up on the bedroom I'm currently in because it was just too difficult. Like I also really like this. I'm going to save that one too. I think that's very pretty, but I don't know. Should that be on my vision board? Should I be sticking pictures of the type of room that I want on my vision board? Is that what I'm supposed to do? I also have a lot of wedding stuff. I have like Sophia Ritchie's wedding, which was Stunning. I loved following along with that on Instagram and TikTok back at the beginning of the year. Like it was beautiful. The flowers on the hoopa, it's like, oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. So I have a bunch of wedding stuff, even though I'm not getting married this year. I just have wedding stuff. I've been pinning wedding stuff for like 10 years, you know? It's kind of cool because you can look back over the trends and the things that I once liked and the things that I may not like so much anymore. And then this is really pretty. I like the color in this. I want to add color into my home. And that's all I can think of right now is sort of how I want my home to look. And I need to, I don't know, I need to pick out things. I want to move. I want to move. I want my home to look fabulous. And to be honest, there's a few rings in here as well. Now this is something that's actually really interesting as well. Hang on, I'm going to flip your back around. One of the things that I have seen in basically every single reel of this 2023 manifestation, like vision board to reality type reel is an engagement photo, like a ring or something engagement, re engagement related to then that person actually getting engaged. And I'd never thought about that before, like putting an engagement ring or having that on your vision board. But it makes sense because, you know, having conversations about getting engaged, relationship, timelines, progressions, all that kind of thing are very, very important conversations. My boyfriend and I have had those conversations. We've talked all about this. Like we've already kind of got a timeline of where we want things to go in the next few years. Obviously you can't plan for everything. So who knows what's going to happen? Happen. but yeah I'm gonna let you in on a little secret here but like I think I should be putting an engagement ring on my vision board and it's wild because as I go through this right now and I am like looking through my journals from last year you know not that I have my vision board but I do remember what it looks like and you know, comparing to where I was in December last year and then thinking about where I'm going to be in December next year, it is like, whoa, this is exactly what I wanted, but I didn't think I would get it. I just didn't think it was going to come. I didn't think I would meet someone and I didn't think that all of a sudden I would be on this path of like, oh, you know, we're going to get married and have kids and have a family and I'm going to go down that path in life. I just didn't see it happening. And so it's weird to sit here this year and think about what's coming up in this next year that is so far from where I was last year. And it's weird. And it's just, it's an adjustment and I've, I have to adjust. And this is not a bad adjustment by any means, obviously. Like I'm very happy with where things are at, but it's just different. Life is very, very different for me this year than it was last year. And I quite frankly don't really know what to do with myself, which is why I'm having such a hard time being like, what do I put on my vision board? Like, <laughs> you know what it feels like? It almost feels like I'm not allowed to. I'm not allowed to put these things on my vision board. 
It's like I'm not deserving of it. I don't know, now I'm getting all therapy on you, but it's like, am I really deserving of all these things? Oh man, these are some thoughts, aren't they? There's some thoughts. Anyway, so vision boarding it is. What do I do? Where do we go with this? I don't know. My brain's starting to not work though. So I might scroll Pinterest for a little bit and think about this. I'm obviously not going to be able to come up with all of this today, um, but I will go over it with you as I figure it out in the next week or so. I think it's this week between now and New Year's is just going to be like a really fun, creative time. Just trying to reflect, try to think about where I want to go, what I want to do. And then we're gonna make it happen in 2024. Like that's the plan. I'm up and I'm feeling antsy because oh, there goes that thunder. We're gonna have a storm, which I'm very excited about. I love like the cozy stormy vibes. It's so nice and I love the thunder. It's getting really humid though. Like I can always tell when it's super humid because my hair starts to go frizzy and it's very humid because I have all my clothes in here drying. Like that's, I, you know, these are the consequences of my actions that I made it nice and steamy in here. I just don't know what to do. I just feel like, uh, antsy. Like I want to figure out what to put on my vision board now, but I need to be patient because this is not something I just want to rush. Like I always do. I always rush these things and then my vision boards are vague and then nothing ever comes to fruition. Do I go and have a shower? Do I go and have a shower and get cozy? What do I do? What do I do? I need to think about the vision board thing. I need to pace around. Does anybody else pace when they like think and try to figure things out? Also, while we're at it, I need to decide on a diary, which I think I've done. I think I'm gonna get this one off Etsy. Not from that seller I was showing you before, but from a different one. It's very plain. It's not as floral as the other ones. I will show it in a second, but I just, I need to buy one today. I need to do that today. I really need to go and get some groceries. I also need to look at a calendar because I've lost track of what day it is because it's December and nothing ever makes sense in December. Plus, I thought today was Christmas Day and that totally threw me off. And so now I just, I don't know what to do. What do I need to do right now in this moment? Maybe I do just have a shower and get myself cozy and try not to figure this all out in a day, you know? It's very rainy out here. Lots of lightning and thunder. 